Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. It is time to jump into my very favorite season of all and that is fall. So today I have 10 different Dollar Tree home decor ideas for you. So let's go ahead and jump right into this very first project. It is a pumpkin made out of a book. So this is a chapter book from Dollar Tree. I took the front and back cover off and then sliced it in half with a razor blade and took those halves and sliced them in half as well. And that gave me four equal sized pieces to work with. Next, I took a pencil and drew sort of a half oval shape and used some scissors to cut this out. This is what that first section looked like. Make sure you have it flat on the bottom so your pumpkin will sit up. I used that template to draw onto the remaining pieces and cut them all out so I had four total. Here I am fanning out my pages so they will sit up and making sure that all of the spine part of the book all touch and meet in the middle. That is where I'm gonna be adding my hot glue and that is where these are all going to be connected. Now to make this look like a pumpkin, I'm using a stick from our tree outside and then hot glued that to the top, added some jute and a wooden leaf that is also from the Dollar Tree just to give it a little bit of style. Up next are some acorns with a farmhouse flare to them. I'm using a darker gray chalk paint and just painted the ends of all of the acorns. I did that to the whole bag that came from Dollar Tree and then I used my white chalk paint over that and that kind of gave it a chippy look. Some of the best projects are the ones that are quick and fast like these cute little acorns. I love these guys to display around on shelves and with other accessories. Give this video a thumbs up if you also love to create quick and easy home decor. This leaf garland is another super quick and easy project. I'm pulling out my Dollar Tree chapter book again. The template that I'm using is a wooden leaf that is also from Dollar Tree. 
I did use several pages stacked on top of each other and cut those all out at the same time. That will save you quite a bit of time doing it this way instead of just one at a time. To assemble this garland, I'm using some jute as the string, and then I am clipping each one of the leaves onto the jute with a mini clothespin, which you can also find at Dollar Tree as well. Copper is my absolute favorite color for fall. So when I found these bottles at Dollar Tree, I knew I could make something cute for fall with them. I popped off the plastic and metal toppings and used some copper spray paint that you can find at Walmart or craft store. I took them outside and gave them two good coats. I decided I really liked the look of burlap with the copper, so I'm using Dollar Tree burlap ribbon to wrap the vases with. I cut out four because I'm gonna be spelling out the word fall. Of course, you can change this to whatever word works for you and your home. I just have these laid out because I'm going to stencil on each one of those letters. I have a vinyl cutter, so this was a little bit more nice looking for me, so I usually try to use stencils when I can. Of course, you can always freehand this with a paintbrush or a paint pen, and I'm using chalk paint for this. It seems to stick really well to burlap, and I just took a paintbrush and dabbed on some paint so that I could get my letters onto that ribbon. Once my paint was dry, just use some hot glue to wrap the ribbon around the bottles. I can see these cute bottles displayed in a kitchen window. I think it'd be so, so cute. If you guys have other ideas of good places where you can display these, leave those down in the comments below. I love reading your ideas. So again, I said earlier, I love that copper color. So I decided to spray paint one of these leaf trays from Dollar Tree with that same copper spray paint. It really just gives it a whole different look and finish and really one that is more sophisticated and upscale. I 
definitely love this before and after. I have mine displayed with those chippy acorns again that I created earlier in this tutorial along with a couple pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. I would love to hear what you would display in yours. Probably you don't want to put food in this as the spray paint is not food safe. Dollar Tree has some of the best buckets, I swear. They are like some of my favorite things that Dollar Tree carries. This taller one, I taped off the jute that already comes on the bucket, which is why I love it so much. It's got so much style already, but decided that I was going to give the bottom of it a couple coats of white chalk paint and then add on a design. Like I said earlier, I do have a vinyl machine, so I cut out a decal to apply to the front of this. I will have these available in my Etsy shop, which you can go to crossinmyheart.com to find, and I'll link that down in the description box below. And basically all I'm doing is adding a piece of transfer tape to the top of this to remove my vinyl off of the paper backing, but yours will come completely ready to go. You won't have to do this step if you do purchase it from my Etsy shop. You peel that transfer tape off of the top and that will remove your vinyl and you will just simply place it onto your bucket where you want, press it down with something hard and flat, remove the transfer tape from the top and you're left with that beautiful finish. I feel like decals just give pieces such a more finished and professional look but you can always use a black Sharpie marker and write your own saying or words on here too. But like I said, if you're interested in this decal, it will be available in my Etsy shop and I will link that down in the description box below. This gnome sparked a lot of mock gnomes coming out of the DIY world. I am painting a, a ping pong ball from Dollar Tree with some peach paint that is going to be his little nose. And for his body, I'm using a black t-shirt from Dollar Tree and literally just wrapped it and hot glued the t-shirt onto a bag of beans from the Dollar Tree. And that's what's gonna give him a base to sit on and kind of a place for us to put his hair and his hat. I did create a little hole down in the beans and you'll see here why I did that. The mops actually have a plastic top to them and so I hot glued that down into the hole and that's what keeps it in place. Now I needed to make his hat. So I'm using a white t-shirt from Dollar Tree and I cut out two very long triangles. And I am also using a scarf that Dollar Tree had and I Mod Podge the scarf onto the t-shirt fabric since the scarf was very, very sheer and thin. You could of course use regular fabric for this and you could skip this part altogether, but I was really trying to keep this 100% a Dollar Tree project. So once I had my two triangles cut down to size, I hot glued them together, leaving the bottom opening so that I could slide that onto his head.
And last, I just hot glued his little nose into his beard and kind of up underneath his hat so it would look like his nose was poking out and his eyes were covered. Is he not the cutest little guy? You can change out his hat and set him different places for different seasons and holidays, or keep him really neutral and keep him up all year long. This tiered tray is actually a challenge that I gave myself. I absolutely enjoy and love to decorate tiered trays. The one that I'm using today is from Kirkland's, but all of the items that I'm going to display on it are from the Dollar Tree. So I did one in more of a neutral, whites and grays and farmhouse style. And I will link that video down in the description box if you want to check that out after this video. But the one I'm showing you here is more of the traditional looks. So you can see pumpkins and the more orangey colors. At the top, I have a Dollar Tree sign that kind of just sat propped up with a ceramic pumpkin and a candle holder. I tuck some little leaves in there. And then on the bottom bigger tray, I have some of their burlap pumpkins, one of their cute, cute mason jar candles, uh, one of their wood pumpkins. I threw some of their uh, sunflowers in one of the galvanized buckets. And then of course added the uh, buffalo check scarf that you saw me use in the gnome tutorial. And just kind of like played around with how to display it. The best way to create tiered trays is to play with textures and colors and patterns and just make sure to find super mini sized items and to do different heights. I have a bucket in the back with a few of their velvet pumpkins and then find something small that you can tuck in between like the little leaves that I have in this display. I had so much fun. This was a super fun project to work on. This is a fresh baked pumpkin pie sign. I had one in my window that just said fresh baked pies, but I really wanted one that was more fall. So I took a Dollar Tree 8x10 sized picture frame, not a window, a picture frame, and painted it with a gray chalk paint. Took my white chalk paint over it again to give it that chippy look. I love that finish and as much as I make of all of my decor. I love that this look really pulls it all together. It doesn't really matter where I put it in my home. I end up having this chippy look, so it really does work. So once I had the gray painted, like I said, I went back over with the white chalk paint.
and then I used my Mod Podge that I also got from Dollar Tree to apply my paper onto the back of the cutting board. After the Mod Podge had dried, I was able to add a decal onto the front of this. This is another thing that is optional. I really wanted something more decorative, so I'm adding the word feast to the front of mine. It's part of a fall decal set that I have in my Etsy shop. I will link that down below. And I just centered it onto the front, and this kind of makes it so you can't use the cutting board because you'll cut through your decal. But I just kind of had it decorative and sat up in my kitchen for during Thanksgiving time. I would love to hear which one of these 10 fall DIYs was your favorite. Leave those down in the comments below. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I'll have even more fall DIY ideas popping up on your screen that I hope you will check out next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.